Welcome back everyone to learning by teaching. We're in statics and today we're going to do problem 830, okay? So we have two blocks A and B have a weight of 10 pounds and 6 pounds respectively. They're resting on the incline for which the coefficient of static frictions are for mu sub A equal to 0 0.15 and mu sub B is equal to 0 0.25. Determine the incline angle theta for which both blocks begin to slide. Also, find the required stretch or compression in the connecting spring for this to occur. The spring has a stiffness of k equals to 2 pounds per feet. Okay? So basically, we want to know this angle theta in here, and we want to know how much this spring uh, stretches or compresses uh, when these two blocks are sliding um, to this direction. We are assuming since gravity is going down, we always assume it's going into that side. So in order to solve this problem, what we have to do is that we're going to start drawing a free body diagram, like always, just free body diagram, and we're going to start with block A. So if we do this, so let's draw our block A in here. So this is our block A. Now, which forces do I have? Well, let's just start with the weight. So we have a weight that is going down of 10 pounds for my block A. I have the normal with respect to the surface. So we're going to call it normal A. Then we also have um, the spring force. And just in case you don't, guys don't know, the force of a spring, it's, it's stiffness K multiplied by the distance, okay? So the stiffness K in this case is equal to 2 multiplied by the distance that the distance is one of the things that we want to find so we're going to put it as an x okay the next thing we also have is that if our block wants to move in this direction we'll have a frictional force going in the same direction as my spring force that way and what do we know our about our frictional forces well our frictional forces are fun and what I mean by fun is that we have mu of a multiplied by n and we can read the fun word okay so since we know the value of mu of a which is 0 0.15 and we just put it multiplied by the normal a okay so this is our first free body diagram and what we can say about this guy is that we can start applying some material forces in the x and y direction but instead of having our regular x and y direction what we're going to do is that we're going to make our own x and y direction that we're going to call x prime and y prime why am i doing this it's just to simplify that this will be in the x prime direction x prime direction y prime direction and the only one that it's not into either x or y prime directions is this 10 pound. Where this 10 pound is just has, with respect to the y, here it has the angle theta, which is the same as this angle theta over here, okay? Now that we know that, we can start applying some material forces. So let's start some material forces in our x prime direction, assuming that going in this diagonal is positive what do we have well we have 2x for my force spring then we have plus 0 0.15 of na of our frictional force and then we have minus the small portion of this 10 pound that is going into that axis which is going which is going to be 10 multiplied by sine of my angle theta and this should be equal to zero okay the next thing we can do is a material of forces in the y direction, in the y prime direction. We're going to assume that going diagonally in this direction is positive. And what do we have? Well, we will have positive Na minus the y prime component of this 10 pounds. So we'll have 10 pounds multiplied by the cosine of my angle theta and this should be equal to zero okay now let's check something out what happens in this problem is that we have one two and three uh, unknowns 
but what we can also see is that in if we draw a free body diagram of B, we'll have that we will also be connected by our spring force. Therefore, our X will be the same, will be a variable that we're going to use. And also our theta, because this block B, it's also inclined by the same amount of theta. So we're going to see that if we do a free body diagram here, we're going to add two equations more and only one or no more, which will be the normal, but in this case of B, okay? So let's start by doing that. So we're going to do another free body diagram over here, free body diagram of my block B. And if we do this, so we're going to have our block B in here. Okay, then we will have the weight of this new block that is six pounds according to the problem. Then we will have the force of the spring is going to be opposite to with respect to my block A. So this is our two X in here in this direction. Then we will have the normal B, which is in the same Y prime direction. And we will have lastly our frictional force from B. The only thing that changes is that is going to be the coefficient of friction is zero point. Let's make it in red just to be consistent. So we got zero point twenty five and the normal B. Okay, now what we can do again is that we're going to apply some material forces in the x prime direction, assuming again that going in that direction is positive. And what do we have in here? Well, we'll start with negative 2x, then we will have positive 0.25 of nb and minus 6 multiplied by the sine. Of theta and in this diagram I just forgot a little description in here this six pounds it's also inclined by theta therefore it's going to be like that and then all this should be equal to zero after having this what we can do again some material forces in the y direction we're going to assume that going in that direction is positive and what do we have? Well, we have positive MB minus the adjacent component of this six pounds. So we got six pounds multiplied by the cosine of this angle theta and all this should be equal to zero. Now, what we can check is that, okay, X is the same variable that in here. And then theta is the same variable as in here. My only new variable is NB so we already counted for mb we already counted for theta so if we count again we have one equation two equations three equations and four equations four equations four unknowns and we can solve for this guy okay for these guys if you guys want to uh, know the right answer you're using the program you can go ahead skip part of the video and you will find the answers to be um, these ones, which are Na equals to 9.829 pounds, theta is going to be equal to 10.6 degrees, and B is equal to 5.897 pounds, and X is going to be equal to 0 0.184 feet, okay? But just in case you guys are curious about how to solve this by hand, which is a little complicated, what we're going to do is that we're going to name these equations, so we're going to have equation one, equation two, equation three, and equation four. First, we're going to take equation one and solve for theta, okay? So, and I made a, made a mistake, it's not equation one, we're gonna make, take equation two and what we have is that we're going to solve for theta so therefore theta will be equal to what so we're going to have na so we're going to have inverse cosine of na over 10 okay and then after having this 
meaning that we already use this guy. We're going to take equation four in this case, and we're going to solve for MB. And the reason that what we're doing this is that we're going to solve for MB because we already know what theta is with respect to NA. Okay, so we're going to solve for MB and this is MB equal to six times cosine of theta. But wait a second, we already know what theta is with respect to NA. And this will just give me six times cosine of the inverse cosine of NA over 10. Okay, and if we guys pay attention really quick, this cosine multiply uh, the inverse cosine, cosine of the inverse cosine will cancel out and will end up that MB will be equal to six times NA divided by 10. Okay, we can also put this as 0 0.6 NA. Now that we have this, what we can do is that we're going to put our new values. So we're going to plug our new values in equation one and equation three. So let's just start with equation one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that in order for us to be able to see this equation, I'm going to copy it here. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it here so we can work on it. And what do we have? Well, we have, we still have 2x plus 0 0.15 NA minus 10 times sine of theta. But we figured out that theta was equal to the inverse cosine of NA over 10. All this should be equal to zero okay so we have one equation with two unknowns so we need another equation which we're going to use equation three and let's erase this here and copy equation three so we can work with it so we got this equation three here we're gonna copy place it in here so we can uh, so we can have a better view of it we got negative 2x plus 0 0.25 multiplied by MB. But we figure out MB is equal to this of NA. So we got 0 0.6 of NA minus six times sine of theta. But theta again is inverse cosine of NA. We don't need this anymore. Divided by 10 and all this should be equal to zero. Now, we have two equations and only two unknowns. With these two equations, two unknowns, we can use any of the systems that we like to use. And in this case, I find it better to do a method of like elimination, meaning that I'm going to subtract from one, I'm going to do equation one minus equation two, because I can eliminate two x and minus two x, and therefore I will only be left with my unknown NA. So if I do that, let's if subtract three from one, okay? So if we do that, we are going to cancel two X minus two X. Sorry, we're not going to add, subtract, we're going to add. That's a little mistake. So we're going to add one and two okay now it's good so if we have 2x minus 2x we got zero if we multiply 0 0.25 times 0 0.6 we will realize that this is equal to zero point so this in here it's equal to 0 0.15 na okay now we will have 0.15 na plus 0.15 NA will have 0 0.30 NA minus, and then what we can do is that we're going to do 10 
plus 6 multiply by the sign of the inverse cosine of Na divided by 10 and all this should be equal to 0. We can do the addition inside of the parentheses and this will be equal to 16, okay? Now, after having this, the best way of solving for Na is using a graphing calculator. And then after having a graphic calculator, finding where this big equation is equal to zero, we'll find out that Na is equal to 9.829 pounds. So as you can see, we match our answer with our final answer that I gave before. Now having that Na, we can use our equation for theta where theta is equal to the inverse cosine of that and we will find out that theta is equal to 10.6 degrees. We can also find N, NB by multiplying Na times 0 0.6 and we'll find out that NB is equal to 5.897 pounds. And the only left is my unknown x. Well, what is x? How can we find x? We can find x with either this equation or this equation. And if we solve for x, we will find out that it's equal to 0 0.184 feet. Okay? And the reason why we can use equation 1 or 3 is because we know mb now, we know theta. Therefore, so solving for x should be easy. Okay, guys? If you guys like the video, Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.